Okay, so let's see. I'm going to the tuple directory first to set the path. I test that I can run it. And then I do all the work in the temporary directory where at the moment I do not have anything. <sighs> what I want to do is to instrument the JDK of Java 6. To do that I first need to find it. <coughs> okay. And now um, I will tell the tuple compiler to instrument using uh, one of the example properties for the JDK. Uh, perhaps has next because it's a bit more interesting. I will time the run. It should take less than two minutes but uh, more than one minute several errors are displayed while it runs uh, the ones that are prefixed by dec from decoding bytecode are uh, caused by package info dot class files uh, this turned out turn out to not satisfy the specification of uh, bytecode files with respect to some of the attributes uh, so in in this in this sort of dummy class that you find in every package um, you have uh, a cla I you have it marked as being um something like what what was it there are some combination of attributes that strictly speaking is forbidden so if it is abstract then it must i forgot what it was anyway f for this class it doesn't really matter because there's nothing executable there but strictly speaking it's wrong so that's the errors with DEC there are also some errors with ENC where uh, the message is uh, found top where a reference was expected this is caused by some JSR instructions which are deprecated and they're not supposed to appear in the bytecode of Java 6 but they are allowed to appear and we could make it work except that I was a little bit too lazy to uh, to make it work uh, good so now we have in the out directory the instrumented version of the JDK and also uh, topple monitor that monitors the property has next um, we can tweak some parameters of this monitor by editing this Java file and saying well you know when you display an error I just want to see the last thing that went wrong this will make it faster and y you if, if you see an error you would increase the history length and run it again to, to see more details and you would probably also activate the call stacks so you get as much debugging information as possible um, and uh, yeah by the this strategy I'm not sure why but it's supposed to be new as by default I think uh, I'm I don't have the last version of topple here and uh, this states limit of 10 uh, for the property has next essentially means that it will only keep track of the of at most nine or so uh, iterators at the same time so it should be more than enough because programs sometimes have two nested loops one with one iterator another with another iterator but rarely they use ten iterators at, at the same time a 
and again uh, it's a um, uh, trade-off between performance and uh, how many errors you catch okay and now um, let's write some code that uses iterators and um, wrongly or rightly so I'm just gonna write the standard boilerplate you need to write for java public static void main parenthesis okay and now uh, uh, most of what we do has to be bracketed by these two calls you could for example have such a main that uh, o only calls property start stop and in between the main the real main of your project and then you don't need to change your project at all you don't need to import topol in your project or whatever but now we're gonna do all the work in this class so let's see we have uh, list uh, of access uh, integer new linked list integer we put something in it and then we say iterator over integers we call it i get it from here and then we say system dot out dot print line i dot next okay we compile it we have to add to the class path the place where the topple monitor is because we call we imported the topple package We have to actually add something. Okay, Java main. I have to add a class path where you have the monitor and the current directory, and it prints one. It did not detect an error because uh, the virtual machine used the standard library from its normal equation it did not use the instrumented one if we wanted to use the instrumented one we have to tell it by prefixing something to its class path i think we don't need this anymore good so now it says an iterator was advanced without knowing that it's not exhausted as we would have expected and if we fix the problem by saying for example while i has next do this thing and we run it again we see that everything is fine good so that's how uh, that's one simple example of how topple works <coughs> and I if if we get an error yeah le let's see how we get some details so i'm gonna comment this out uh, compile it again and then i go and i edit the knobs of the monitor and I say I want call stacks and I want uh, you have to remember I don't know five steps I recompile the monitor with the new uh, 
values for its parameters and now I run it and I get a more detailed error that says well I got this call to uh, iterator that was from um, uh, line 9 of main and then I went to the invalid state uh, when uh, th that call returned and then I saw a call to next from line 11 and I went to the error state so that's what it says if you want more details but this capturing of call stacks and keeping a longer history uh, makes it slower that's why by default you would keep it turned off okay so how do how do I stop this recording thing e okay